Welcome again to another program of uh, Yeshiva Classroom. We're here every, uh, every week at this time and uh, I have a lot of things to talk to you about and I want to start off with uh, uh, the fact that I, I met a, uh, a, a lady, a married woman in, in the five towns in, in Cedarhurst and uh, as a matter of fact, she has a, a sign hanging from her, her uh, side of, of her home on uh, Rockway Turnpike. And it says, Thank you, Hashem. And I went to uh, knock on the door and I spoke to her. And she's a Bukharian. And she has a, a nice large family. And she tells me that uh, there are many Bukharian Jews who are in the Nassau County and Queens County and Brooklyn uh, who are not receiving a, a Jewish education. And uh, it, it really uh, hit home because here I, I have a picture of, of these young kids that uh, were led uh, down the pathway to their extermination in the in the gas chambers. Here they never had a opportunity to to have anything. No parents, no schooling, nothing. And here in the five towns where we have uh, so much uh, wealth and uh, prosperity and, and happiness uh, why should it be that in the public schools in, in Nassau County uh, there are, in Cedarhurst, in Woodmere, Lawrence, there are Jews in the public school. We don't have, we don't have resources to take them out. And I'm going to act like an ombudsman and, and tell you uh, the resources and uh, the, uh, the, the leadership uh, and, and criticize them because uh, even, even if it's a negative or positive, I, I want to uh, let the people know uh, where we're standing. And to start off, I would like to talk about uh, the uh, Yeshiva University and its uh, three uh, institutions uh, in, um, in, in, in the Five Town area. And I want to tell you, they did a great job. You know, every five years there is a Zionist convention, a Zionist worldwide convention, and depending on the number of votes you get, that determines the amount of money you'll get yearly for uh, your organizations that are in, um, in Israel. The uh, organizations that uh, your um, uh, interest is. And for instance, you know, they have Mizrahi, uh, which in the last election, with 2020, uh, earned uh, earned a uh, 27 seats out of a total of 112 that was allotted to the United States. The reform uh, received 32 seats. And in third place was, uh, uh, was Chabad, who just recently entered uh, this uh, giveaway program. And they come out with eight, uh, uh, 22, and then uh, the conservatives come out with 18. And there's a lot of uh, one and two seats uh, allocated. But it will determine the amount of monies that uh, their uh, cohorts in Israel Will re will receive during the next during the next uh, five years. The last one was held in in 
and 15, 2015, and uh, the reform received uh, four million dollars a year. So the Chabad is the first time they entered, and uh, they uh, garnered, as I said before, 22 seats. And in the diaspora, which is the outside of Israel, there are 500. There are uh, 500 seats up. Uh, allotted, or a total 500 seats, and the United States has 112 of them. So uh, the observant did well, but the point is, it's not like, oh, come to the polls and uh, get a, a, a ballot and vote. No, the people are complacent and know that there is an election, so what happened was, uh, People went out, organizations went out, and uh, went to the various communities and uh, buttonholed them to, uh, to vote for their slate. And I can attest to this fact because, because in Florida I was uh, privy to see these young volunteers um, set up a table in, in Century Village and in uh, Florida and many of the senior citizens' uh, residences and urging them to vote uh, Mizrahi, which uh, is the Orthodox Yeshiva University slate. And they did well in that they came out, they came in second uh, with over uh, 22,000 uh, votes. Um, Chaban, uh, they're organized, so the first year that they're in it, and they got 18 uh, seats. So, um, it's interesting to note that Yeshiva University uh, was organized to the extent that they're raising money for Orthodox uh, institutions and uh, um, settlements in, in Israel, which is a noteworthy cause, a, a, a sincerely worth, worthwhile cause. But the point I want to bring out is that they are, they are organized. They have uh, Rabbi Hain in Beth Shalom. They have uh, Rabbi Billet in Young Israel Woodmere. And they have Rabbi Zev Friedman, uh, the uh, Rosh Yeshiva, or Rosh Masifta uh, of Rambam Yeshiva for boys in high school. And for uh, the girls' school, Shalavit uh, in, in Woodmere. So they're set up, the whole organization is set up uh, to reach out to uh, the uh, Jews in public school. They have the wherewithal and, and they have the uh, institutions which will, which will handle uh, the uh, young students that uh, are uh, taken in because they have the schools, and, and they have the synagogues, and uh, there are some other things that are missing, but uh, uh, I, for one, would uh, definitely join them, uh, or if they agree to, to go out and reach out, uh, or to join any other organization that uh, wants to uh, reach out and and to speak to young people about coming into a, a day school Jewish atmosphere to learn basic uh, uh, concept of, of Torah and Judaism. Not like these people that never had a chance. We have the abilities and, and, and wherewithal to reach out and to bring them in. And it's just a matter of a little bit of, a, uh, of, of an effort uh, to form uh, a, a group to, uh, to, to reach out. So it's important. And I, I want to tell you something else uh, regarding uh, reaching out. You know, there, there's, a, there's a big problem uh, in several uh, synagogues in, um, in the Five Town area. And that is, uh, there's a lot of talking. I'm not talking about 
please pass me the sitter or ask a question, a slight uh, thought that they might have. I'm talking about where they're, they're like, like, like a convention. People come to, to Sabbath services and here uh, they say, um, you know, it's, it's a time to talk and see our friends and meet and talk and forget about uh, what's happening uh, in, in the synagogue and, and our prayers. And, and that's, that's not right. And the synagogues are doing a good job in that they don't, they do not tell the culprits, the instigators of talk and misbehaving, to leave, but let them stay because we don't turn anybody away. But the point that they do not go further is that they uh, do not involve uh, the um, they do not involve uh, the the people in a meaningful learning time. Now, you know, everybody is on a different level and where he's holding as far as his background, what his knowledge is, what he appreciates in Torah. So it's hard to get a, a, um, group together and, uh, with the same background and have the rabbi speak. And that's another thing. We can't have the rabbi speaking all the time. The, the Jewish people are a congregation of a priest, right? In 19.6 in Exodus over there, it says uh, after they had been in exile in, in Egypt for 400 years, they were in exile for 400 years, and they came out and exactly 400 years on Isaac's birthday and they came out of exile and and they said to God said to them God said to them if you keep the covenant and listen to my words then you will be a kingdom of priests and all the people answered Nasa Nasa we will do we will learn the teachings of the covenant, which they kept over 400 years. They still remembered in their going out on Pesach time. They still remembered the covenant that Abraham made between the pieces. And, and they will listen to God's teachings. The God, the creator of heaven and earth. So, that's what happened. The people said, Nasa. And then it says, in 19.9, you get a pen and write these down. In Exodus 19.9, it says over there that God descended in a thickness of, of a cloud and, and spoke to Moses so that the people will hear and believe forever. And that's what we do. We are believing forever that God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he chose a particular people to represent him on this planet. Now, when God created the heaven and the earth, and, and He created Adam on the sixth day of creation, He judged him on that sixth day of, of creation after He transgressed by eating of the tree of knowledge. And He was told to leave the 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 garden garden of eden garden of eden so he was judged on the uh on the on the first day of tishrei 
actually, it's real like the Rosh Hashanah because that's when we're judged on the first day of, six, of Tishrei. The, girl, the world was created on the 25th day of El. Go forward six days and you're in the first of Tishrei. The day that Jews observe the Rosh Hashanah Yontav when we are judged. So, that's what happened to Adam. And he transgressed and he was judged. He had to leave the, the garden and God spoke to him and he spoke to his wife Chava, Eve, and he spoke to his son, uh, to, their, to their son Cain, and, and he spoke many times, where is your brother? The blood of your brother cries to me. And Cain said, am I my brother's uh, uh, keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? So there was interaction. Adam was not Jewish. His children were not Jewish. But what happened was he was given a mantle to be a surrogate and to be a light into the nation. But instead of being a light, he continued to fall down. And the, the son began worshipping the servants of God. They began worshiping the servants of God, like the moons and the stars and all these things. And they became further and further away from the creator of heaven and earth. And it, it, was, uh, it just kept on rolling. You know, it says over there in the sentence in the Torah, God created the heavens and the earth. Reishis bara lakim ace hashemay ace ha'aras. The Aleph Tov means that it's not a translatable word, but it introduces the direct object in Hebrew. But it also can be learned things from from that from that word, and it says God created the heavens with the ace, with the heavens he created all the matter, building blocks with the earth all the building blocks for the earth and the next passage said and the earth was sohu vavohu unformed sohu and, and, and chaotic sohu vavohu in other words, all the matter, all the building blocks were laid out on the first day. But when God called, for instance, on the third day, let there be vegetation. Or the fourth day, let there be luminaries in the sky. He took this uh, undefined matter and brought it into vegetation, or brought it into uh, luminaries, but it was all created on the first day. It was only brought down. It was only brought down to in the next succeeding days. Now, uh, you know, I'm I'm speaking, and this is what I'm going to get away from. I don't want people to speak if they're not on a level. To, uh, you know, what was the original thought over here? How do we stop the talking in, in the synagogue, right? We can't tell him to leave because every Jew is a valuable asset and, and uh, he may wake up sooner or later. In the meantime, he may disturb many of the congregants. But what I suggest is the rabbi of the synagogue where you have this talking going on to have an individual meeting on one on one uh, with uh, every congregant to find out where he is holding and to give him the appropriate material to um, to learn during the week right because that's the most important mitzvah the um, 
learning of Torah equals all the mitzvahs put together. The learning of Torah equals and surpasses all the mitzvahs that you could possibly think of. And we're not, we're not at that level. Even, I'm talking about the Orthodox, whatever that means. You know, the committed Jews who believe, but because of other circumstances, they, they don't have the time uh, uh, to put in as much time as they should. And that's why uh, the rabbis, again, I'm an unofficially appointed ombudsman person for the five-town area. Now look, I, the, the rabbi's not going to listen to me, and I don't think he's going to uh, find the time uh, to, uh, to have individual lessons with uh, people. Uh, but uh, in, in lieu of that, I'm going to tell you that you can do it on yourself, you, by yourself. You don't need a you don't need a a rabbi. Let art scrolls be your teacher. Let art scrolls be your teacher, and you can buy a a a Talmud. You can buy a, a paperback Talmud for ten dollars. I go to Z Berman, ten dollars uh, for a paper book value a paper book uh, copy of one portion of the Talmud. And it has all kind of footnotes in here, all kind of footnotes which are which are more important and, and uh, must be uh, integrated into the English reading. Everything's in English and or Aramaic. So that I suggest you get, or if you want, send me a uh, uh, send me a self-addressed envelope to post office box. 23 Cedarhurst, New York, and I'll send you a copy of the first page. It has all the footnotes. More, it gives you more information than a rabbi could possibly think of. The footnotes are important. Why is Talmud important? You know, when I came to Yeshiva in 1959, well, you know, I was older guy already, uh, and uh, I, you know, I'm from Delaware, right? Wilmington, Delaware, the first state, uh, first city in the first state, the first, uh, uh, the first state to ratify the Constitution, and Caesar Rodney uh, took um, uh, on horseback a ride, a road to Philadelphia, and uh, the first signature. Now, uh, Caesar Rodney's statue in, in, Rodney's, in Rodney Square in Wilmington was taken down because it found out that he, uh, he, uh, uh, owns uh, uh, slaves. Well, I don't want to get ten general on that, but the point is. So what happened? I came to. I came to yeshiva. I, I said, "Listen, I want to learn Torah. I want to go to yeshiva." I didn't know anything really. I still don't know anything. So I went. I went to Chabad. I told me Chabad takes everybody. No, but I was rejected. I went to 770, 1959. It came out. Guy came out and said, "No, we don't have the facilities for you." So then I went to Yeshiva University. And uh, in those days, they didn't have, it wasn't so formal. And, and uh, they brought me into this uh, uh, rabbi who was conducting a class. They stopped the class and he, and he interviewed me. And, and bottom line, I was rejected. But uh, I continued on and I finally found um, a school. Uh, and I, don't know, I think they thought I was a wise guy or something. And, and they... Um, put me in a class uh, where they learned yeshiva, uh, where they learned Talmud. And uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know, <laughs> it's a long story, but I don't want to get into it, but the point is, I thought that all the rabbis that were speaking in the Talmud, uh, uh, seeing that they're so great, they had to come to get together and, uh, and, and, and be a unified uh, thought. But I didn't realize they each had a different, uh, different thought. Uh, that they handed down. Now, wh where do we get the Talmud from? Look, uh, when the Jews were in the desert 40 years, right? They, they, there was a yeshiva, they, they had mana that was, uh, 
that came down every day. It tasted like a, uh, a pancake and or a, a, had different tastes. And they translated or they had the um, the the five books of Moses, which was the Torah, aka Old Testament, aka the Jewish Bible, the only Bible we have. And it was it was in Hebrew, it was old Hebrew, and each word was taught so as not only they knew the definition, but they knew the understanding of the word. They knew the understanding of each word because they knew Hebrew, they spoke Hebrew. Right? So they spoke they spoke Hebrew. So, uh, but some of the uh, names, uh, like for instance, uh, you know, when uh, birds of prey are prohibited, uh, and they list the, the name of, the, of those birds, and uh, we don't have the, the information as to what bird they were referring to. They, they referred to it in, in, in Hebrew, and they knew... Uh, which uh, species uh, they, they were talking about. So, so yeah, so everything was orally transmitted at uh, the first temple. Let me see, so what happened? They orally transmitted to um, Joshua and then to uh, the book of, um, of, of Shoftim, Judges, and some were learned. Some leaders were very learned and they quoted the uh, uh, tractates uh, from from the from the Torah to to Gentile uh, leaders, telling them, showing them that this this land, uh, the Trans Jordan, was given to it. It was given to us by God. Well, you can't take it back from from God. Just like uh, just like today, uh, Mr. Blinken, he says that we 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 have to have. You see, I can get tangential over here. Uh, very easily. Mr. Blinken, the Secretary of uh, State in the United States, a very high position. He says, uh, we want a two-party state. Where, where Trump never mentioned anything about a two-party state, and he wasn't in, in, even Jewish. Here, uh, we, uh, Blinken says, we want to set up a Palestinian uh, consulate in East Jerusalem. He wants to set up a, 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 a consulate by, a palace, by Palestine so eventually it become a two state and it continued there. That's our friends, our Democratic Party. That's our friends. And Blinken happens to be Jewish, right? His mother and father were both Jewish and his stepfather was a uh, a writer and a, a uh, very, uh, he went through a lot of horrors in the concentration camp and, 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 and he wants to divide the country up. Uh, they just divide, take a knife. When in 1929, England was, was trustee for the land uh, in, uh, below Syria, uh, uh, J Jordan, Israel, and what they said is, you know what? <coughs> Excuse me. We'll divide the Jordan River. Here's the, this is Israel, right? We'll divide the Jordan River. Here's the Jordan River. This side is Jewish, and this side is Arab. They make it a uh, a two-party state, all right? It's a, well, they didn't say anything. Britain said it's good. They issued a white paper in 1929 that Jews have control of this area. Arabs this area. Oh, they were rioting, they killed, they massacred. And now, you know, the Jewish people, really God, took their rightful, earn, rightful land back. In 1948, after 2,000 years of exile, we still kept the commandments and live by the laws of the Torah. They divided, they divided this land into little pieces over here, and the Jews wanted by the sweat and blood, and now they want to divide it again like, like a piece of salami. 
They think Israel is a piece of salami. Look, write this down. God gave the the land to Abraham and his descendants, Isaac and Jacob. Write this down. In Genesis 15, chapter 15, verse 7, and Genesis chapter 26, verse 3, and Genesis chapter 28, verse 13. You just add a 1 to the 3, you know, 26, 3, 28, 13. So, so, that, so that's how it is, you know, it's, it's our land. I mean, they, they can have the whole world against us. But it's not going to be a two-party state. Oh, this will stop the anti-Semitism. Oh, yeah, anti-Semitism. You think, we're, we're, they've spent millions of dollars on, on, on stopping anti-Semitism. Right. Every day in the paper, it's swastikas, Nazi flags, or, or your brothers and sisters and uncles died uh, in, in liberating the country from Nazism. And, and, and here we have... It, here we have anti-Semitism. The Jews are the, are the cause of the, uh, of the problem. The Jews, what problem? Why? Because they have our own land. We give so much to the world. We give so much to the world. Right. Every every day, and Ben and Jerry. Well, who's Ben and Jerry? Uh, ben Green, uh, Ben Cohen, and Jerry Greenfield. Right. No, it's two little Jewish boys. They they want to they they want to rectify to help the poor Arabs who 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 are, are nothing and 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 give them a piece of land. They already gave them they gave them a piece of land over there in in Gaza where they had so much trouble, which is God given land. And what did they do in Gaza? They shoot bombs and and fly all kinds of of, of missiles into into thank you yeah that that's what that's what they do and they gave away god given land god given land is what they do and here miss rooney of the country of ireland the bestseller she doesn't want our books published in hebrew that's a good that's a blessing because because that people should be learning Torah and Talmud and get a taste of it. And it may take longer for other, some people than others. But Miss Rooney says, we don't, we, 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 I don't want my work published in, 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 in Hebrew. We don't like Hebrews. And where was she during, during the Second World War? Not one Jew was allowed to come into Ireland. Not one Jew was allowed to come into Ireland from the Nazis' um, uh, persecution. Not one Jew, and they cons consistently vote against, against Judaism and the Israeli, Israeli state. And yet we find that the Jews are the most giving people and have even the Arabs in their government. Arab party votes to destroy Israel there, including in the government. And you say, oh, the Jews are, are, are segregating the people from the, the, the uh, apartheid. Look, here, Ben and Jerry, they don't know what they're talking about. You know, the state of Vermont, where, where Ben and Jerry produced the ice cream, exiled four Indian tribes in the 1700s. They just threw them out, pushed them out to, uh, to Canada. One was the Mohegans. Right? And Stonewall Jackson took, uh, took the uh, Seminoles, Seminole Indians from the Midwest and transported them to, to, to the swamplands of Florida. Is anybody crying about that? Why, why doesn't Blinken make a two-party state out of, out of uh, Mississippi or Alabama where there, or where there are more blacks than whites in those, uh, those states? Or, 
or give back to Seminole, Seminole Indians to, to, to the land from which they came, from the Midwest. No, it's only the Jews. They're the ones that usurped the, uh, the Arabs, and, and there are 22 Arab states, and here Jews are trying to step one little uh, a step toward uh, a little uh, country that is free uh, from um, influences of the Gentile society, and and, and you know Ben and Jerry came out and said, well we don't we don't uh, d uh, discriminate against against the country of Israel, but uh, we we don't feel it's right that. Uh, Samaria and Judea. This is the heartland of, 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 of the Bible where the, all the kings rode and, 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 and conquered and lived and given to by, by God. It, it tells you the, the borders. Uh, look at it, Numbers, uh, chapter 34, verse 1. It delineates the north, south, east, west borders. And the reason we have so much trouble from Gaza because they gave half of Gaza Strip to the, to the Arabs. Hopefully they will have peace. Look, I don't know who's going to listen to this program, right? I don't think they're that many, but the point is, wherever you are, even Ben & Jerry is being wiped out as far as, you know, Texas, uh, Arizona, New Jersey, they, they will not... Uh, to, uh, fund any uh, anything uh, that uh, it benefits Ben and Jerry, but Helmut's mayonnaise. I see that. That's a, Unila a Unilever, right? It's a Unilever country. Uh, and, and yeah, th this is another one. Before I forget, this is what we need to do: defund the media. <laughs> Here it is: defund the media. Can you see that? Uh, you know, I'm you know I'm a one-man program. I'm a producer, a cameraman, material. I, I could use some help, really. Uh, so if you want to help, give me a call here. You can call 516-295-4233. And uh, right now, I'm I'm going to raise uh, funds to uh, go on the radio in different cities. You can buy time. Uh, and you get promos the whole day, so it's a good deal to spread the word. But here we are. Helmets Mayonnaise, and now it's in all the supermarkets, all the kosher supermarkets. That's a Unilever pro, uh, pro owner product. All you need, uh, Hellman's, uh, you can't you live without, without Hellman's, the quality that it has. I mean, forget about that, but your brothers and sisters that are giving their lives on the front lines in Israel. But we got to have uh, Hellman's. No, you don't need it. You can get ShopRite, you can get other uh, uh, names. And, and, and you can sacrifice it. Hellman's and, 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 and Ben and & Jerry. Uh, I think Skippy also look on that, Skippy Peanut Butter. And you can call Unilever and express your disgust at what they are doing as far as BDS, boycott, uh, diversify, and S stands for uh, whatever, BDS. We're against BDS, and they are for BDS. So, if they're for BDS, we're against BDS. And here are the number to, of Hellman's, right? Call them up. Call them up and tell them how you feel, how you discuss. Your brothers and sisters are dying in Israel, and you can't, and you got, come on. Okay, look, see how that tangential. This is something that I saw on a fellow was worried. Uh, defund the media. You know, we don't hear anything about Afghanistan. Sleepy Joe, he is Sleepy Joe. You know, he came from uh, Claymont. He, he, he wasn't born in Delaware. We don't want anything to do with, with uh, a, a carpet bagger. So the point is, uh, he uh, lived near the border of Marcus Hook, Pennsylvania, which was a refinery town, and it screwed uh, such a stink 24 hours a day, it was impossible to, to pass through that town. And he probably got too much of that smell uh, that affected him in later years. Defund the media. I, I think I saw it, it says, uh, okay, kick, kick, kick okay. 
uh, com. You can get a t-shirt, defund the media. Here, look at the media. They, they, nothing, Biden do anything wrong. There's so many things you could, you, you could pick on him. Well, he, didn't do, he didn't do anything wrong. The economy's going to pot. Uh, gas prices are over uh, 330 a gallon, where uh, Trump was 280. Uh, uh, d d d down the line, there's just all kinds of things that, that are going bad. He got out of Afghanistan. You think the news, news media t say anything about Afghanistan and how we lost uh, $85 billion worth of equipment? And, and you see any pictures of, of, of people hanging on to the uh, uh, movable stairway uh, to the planes? No, you're still talking about January the 6th, where the few people broke into uh, the, uh, the Capitol and they want to get 20, 25 years in prison, while P Putin says, for what? Putin of Russia said, hey, you're crying to me because I, I, I incarcerated Natavi, the opposition uh, worker, when you want to uh, give 20, 25 years to the people who broke into the, into the White House. Yeah, but you'll see that uh, picture on your screen all the time of how, of how, uh, of of how, um, you see that picture of of uh, this demonstration uh, against how the election was stolen. So speaking about elections, uh, in, in Arizona, 94,000 mail-in ballots came in over the number that was sent out. 94,000 came in. <laughs> well, there's no fraud. We, 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 we counted. What a crooked deal we got. And you say, well, listen, we're in America. We're safe. You think we're safe in America? Yeah. Oh, we have systems of... of um, checks and balances, we have a constitution. Oh yeah, if God wanna take you down, man, he can take you down, one, two, three. You gotta, what, you know, and what did we do? Oh my goodness, I don't know. What did we got, we got uh, Tangential over here and, and, and getting the, right, the Art Scroll Talmud, the Art Scroll Talmud, and the Art Scroll Paper Book Talmud, $10 is stuff. Taught, self-taught. You don't need a rabbi. Our rabbis have not brought the learning Torah to the people. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that, but everyone should be having a seder. Seder means a set time in learning. If you don't, then uh, do it on your own. And to supplement that, get the book. Behold the people. Behold a people, which gives you the 24 books in concise form and um, teaches you um, basic thoughts in the Torah. And this is written by uh, Victor Miller. Miller, right? Behold the people. Rabbi, um, Rabbi Cutler, Zechel Rabbi, the top uh, man in, in learning in Yeshiva Gavoa in, in Lakewood, who was a Talmud of... Uh, of uh, the yeshiva in, in Slobodka, uh, Poland, before World War II. And Rabbi Miller also was a uh, Talmud just before the break of, outbreak of World War II in Slobodka. But he wrote everything down in English. Slobodka didn't originate in... Uh, in, in uh, Poland, it came uh, throughout the different lands till it reached uh, Slobodka and then it was wiped out during the Holocaust. So, where do we want to go? You know, Trump has got to be blessed. You know, they want to impeach Trump on the basis of a telephone call that this uh, Ukrainian uh, American, boom, Ukrainian. Uh, European it was the translator, and he and he said that uh, Trump uh, used uh, underhand tactics to to stop uh, to to uh, advance his goals, and he wanted to impeach, impeach the president, the best president the United States has ever had. They wanted to impeach him based on a telephone call. Yet here, 
in Afghanistan, people are clinging on to the movable stairs, trying to get trying to get out of Afghanistan uh, and forget about forget about the the, uh, uh, the, the, the the material. But how about the lives, our friends? Here, this is a picture. I, I couldn't get anything else where they're clinging on to the steps, crawling the airport, trying to get out, save my life. No, we don't talk about that. Where, where's Mr. Muir? And, 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 and the 6 o'clock, uh, 6.30 news. Oh, he didn't do, he's doing it, but he's talking about the, the vaccine. Oh, the president is talking about the vaccine, how we're going to help you, and we're going to stop the bottlenecks. And, and in the southern border, it's open, and over a million refugees, undocumented people, cross the border into the proper mainland United States. How many are, are, are terrorists at the, at the word of, of their commander to poison the water or to uh, set up explosives? All kind of things. They don't speak about that. No, nothing's spoken about. Oh, we're going to get the, the, the factories are all backed up because we, uh, we don't have the ships to unload the ships. They need all the parts, and then some parts are still on the ship. We can't, the economy's uh, floundering. Right? It, it can't, look, there's no more caravans anymore. Yeah, when Trump was there, there's no caravans from, from C Central America. Trump got on the phone and laid it right to the leaders of those Central American countries. Stop! And they stopped! Who knows how many millions are, are waiting to get in and charge and, to, and subverses? That's, uh, who talks about that? Where's impeachment? Where the Republicans don't know how to fight? If anything should be impeached, it's, it's a sleepy joke. He made so many boo-boos, he could write a whole book on, 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 the, on the gaffes that he, uh, he did. Look, I don't want to, look, there's a pusik in the Torah. It's actually, actually, it's written two times. It says in 12.3 in Genesis and 24.9 in Numbers, right? 20, yeah, 12.3. Whoever blesses the Jewish people is blessed, and whoever curses the Jewish people is cursed. That's written two times. Two times in the Bible, and 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 a person like Trump, well, he has he has a daughter that's converted to Judaism, a, a good conversion, and yeah. So look, what do we talk about? There's a lot to talk about. Look, I want to uh, be, I want to be taken down, and. And, uh, and taken off the air because I'm trying to motivate you to, to, to learn, to learn Torah. So we, we have three branches of Torah, right? Oh, so we were talking about Talmud, right? Talmud, so the people knew Talmud, right? Because the, every time they got the, the uh, every time, uh, they, they learned, you know, in the desert, one, there was one rabbi over 10, and uh, another rabbi over 50, and another rabbi over 100. So uh, they learned, and the translation was in Hebrew. It's Hebrew the Hebrew. So, but after a while, they, uh, be, being that we were exiled due to our transgressions, um, we, uh, you know, you, you whisper something to a person's ear every time it gets to the fifth person down the line, it's, it's changed a little bit. So they got the, the oral Torah and it became a little bit burdensome and that um, uh, they, there are a few opinions uh, coming down from the main source. And the uh, time was a period of Tana, Tanayim, where the uh, Tanatic period, where the rabbis um, sort of put everything in perspective and order uh, to uh, uh, being that they they were 
they were based in Israel. In Israel, the land of Israel, they were close to the source of, of where the, the Torah came from. And, and that's a Tana period, uh, which was uh, the, uh, during the first temple. But after the first temple, um, an exile, a new group of people arose, rabbis, who were the Amorayim, who were lesser uh, knowledge and, and whose physical body was not as strong and therefore their spiritual knowledge uh, also was weakened being that they were surrounded by, by Gentile culture. And so after the exile continued, uh, we got into the Rishayim, which we're at today, where, um, where uh, our knowledge uh, is very poor and we have to rely on the predecessors. Uh, so, and then it was finally written down in, in uh, 600 uh, Common Era, 600 Common Era, <coughs> which you have today, and uh, which uh, I strongly urge you to get, right? It's the uh, linear translation of, uh, the, of the Talmud, start off with 1A, it says, and, and, and this is what you spend your time, this is what you, you spend your time. To, to, to learn, right? to learn, to learn Torah. And, and if not, you'll go into exile, right? And that's what happened. Look, here's a picture. Uh, I, I got a friend who took this on a computer, and it's not the best picture, but this is Europe, right? And this is all Nazi controlled. And this is where reform started out. Reform. They changed the rules, converted dressed and looked like Germans, and that's where we formed Judaism, made everything topsy-turvy, you know, she likes me, she likes me not, this I like, this I don't like, you know, throw it out, this is deep. So, where, so that's, where, that's where, the, where the angel of death put his mark. In 1941, they were on North Africa. Germany was on North Africa, Nazi Germany. They could have gone right up uh, the, uh, into Egypt, uh, Libya, the oil fields, right on up to, uh, uh, to Romania and, and all the oil fields. And, and what they do? They left. They left to concentrate their evil on the Germans, on, on the populace that, that the Germans uh, carved out. And here, the Jews of North Africa were observant. They, they listened to the Chacham. They did everything what the Chacham did at that time. And, and God sent the Germans away from them. And he, he could have wiped them out. Instead, he wiped out the Ashkenazim, the good and the bad. Because the leadership went down under. And how far did he get? He wanted to get to the oil fields of Baku. And as far as, that's as far as he got to the Caucasus. Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains. And the other side of the Caucasus were the, were the, uh, were the uh, Bukharian. The Bukharian Jews who kept everything. Listen to the leaders. They kept everything. Kept the mitzvahs and lived like Jews. They withstood uh, Nazism. They stood uh, Communism. And, and, and in America, they're going to fall down because we did not do right by them and not setting up schools for them. I'm talking about the five towns and the leadership of the five towns. We say, well, we got there, we're busy. We got a busy schedule. Why busy schedule? You want to see? Yeah, busy schedule. This, this is what, uh, they got tons of books of where they made the Jews stand up. 24 hours naked, no clothes for 24 hours. Here they had pogroms. They had all kind of evil things happening to them. Here in Minsk, they had a ride uh, piggyback. Jews had a ride piggyback while the, while the Goyim looked on. This is what we get when we don't... We say, who am I to, to talk about, against the rabbi? Look, it says over there, a, ra a rabbi. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about those 
uh, the Mickey Mouse people, they, they had a convention in 1880 in Cincinnati and they had uh, turtle, uh, turtle legs and shrimps on, on the menu. We don't need the Torah. We can figure out things by ourselves. And, and, and the, some people said, oh, that's too radical. So, so that became the conservative. They're conservative. They pick and choose a little bit on a higher level, not the shrimp. So that's the reform. They just move with the culture, move with the side. Look, these are our children. They, they, these, are, these are our brothers and sisters who walk down the aisle to the concentration camp, to the gas chambers. Here they are. Take a look. They were with prisoner guard, black and white striped uniforms. Here they go all the way down to the gas chambers where they are slaughtered and burnt into a, a mountain of, of ash. Mountains of ash. And that's what happened to, to us if we don't act. He said, oh, who am I? Who am I to talk about the rabbis? Look, there's a Pusik. Pusik in, uh, in, in Leviticus 20, not chapter 29, verse 17. You should rebuke your fellow man, lest you become sin. You should rebuke your fellow man. 29, 17. 29, 17. I think it's 29, 17. Leviticus. 29, uh, 20, 29, 17. Yeah, you should rebuke your fellow man. The rabbi of the synagogue is my fellow man. And I don't want to talk about this. Uh, oh, it's Ma Marsayan. It's not, it's not good to, talk, uh, to say true matters about things. But it says you should rebuke your fellow man. And then that he should not lead us into a, uh, into a straight path. It says over there in chapter 23, Exodus. Is it 23? Exodus, do not accept a false report. Do not extend your hand to, to, to an evil person. And listen to the, uh, and listen to the person who goes against the majority. 23, right? So it says, you get to love to learn the Torah. Here, the, in Bracious, it talks about Billum, Billum was the one that rode the donkey, and, and he and, and and they hired him to curse the Jewish people. So how how does he get to, to know to, to curse the Jewish people? Where does he get that uh, uh, acumen, that wisdom and knowledge? Because he knows exactly when God's anger appears, and that's like one uh, five hundred and eighty-four thousandths part of a second. And he knows that, that, uh, that time and that's when he will curse the Jews and God will follow his curse. I, I read it and, and it, look, the, the Gemara, that, it's, it's all different types of things that are brought down. Look at the footnotes. It's all good stuff. Please. Do it you, for your own self. For you, you have to you have a report card. He says, you know, he said, uh, Moshe said, if you don't forgive the Jewish people, right, uh, erase me from your ledger. Erase me from your book. I don't want to be in the book. Kill me. That was a test for Moses. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So here are the, here are the two books, right? Uh, Barakos, you get the Talmud, right? And t t uh, write me, post office box 23, uh, Cedarhurst, uh, self adjust envelope. I'll send you a copy of, if you want the, the Talmud copy, and, and get the book uh, Behold the People on Amazon, right? And uh, a linear copy of Barachos, the first uh, part of, of, of the Talmud. So, you know, uh, if you want to help me out and try to uh, go over some things, you know, me and Mosai, Korin Shema Bihavim, from when to when, or the parameters for saying the Shema Yisrael prayer in the evening. Misha Shekha Koyhanim, enter Lechna, enter the Ita Truma. Now, you want to have the Tanakh? What happened in Tanakh over there? Rav Shaka, he was an apostate. He came to, 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 uh, Hiskiyahu, and, and, uh, 
in, in, in the book of Samuel. He came to his kiyahu, his kiyahu and said, he said, surrender. No, two parties stay. You gotta, we gotta take you away. We'll give you the better land over here. We would, you'll have peace and you'll be happy. That's what he said, Rav Shaka. So, so, uh, he, so, so the king, Hiskiyo, said, don't, don't speak to us in Hebrew because you'll lower the morale of the people. Right? That, that's, that's, and so what happened? It, it, sure enough, uh, Isaiah, the prophet, the prophets basically ruled uh, together with the kings, right? Went together with the kings to show them the, the direct path to follow. Look, my people over there. You gotta work. No one's gonna help you. You're gonna work yourself. Help yourself. You gotta develop a taste for it, just like broccoli. Some people get it. They they love it naturally. Other people that gotta work, 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 work. Not build, build, build. The the, the natives are restless. We have to build our people. No gymnasium, no gymnasiums, and get the job done. And join me, and and we'll work together. Uh, if you don't have the uh, proper leadership. Remember, the main thing is defund the media. With that, I'm going to end because I think I'm over the time limit. Thank you and God bless.